Hey, good day everyone. Today's lesson is about three moment equation. Three moment equation was developed by French engineer. Engineer Capiron in 1864. So particularly this equation is used to solve indeterminate structures. Okay? So three moment application is on beams, you can also apply on frames. Okay? So today lesson are is a reinforcement of uh, the module sent to you last month. Okay? Okay, today we're going to. Uh, I will show you how to use three moment equation in solving indeterminate structures. Okay, so next slide. So we have here an example. So the example here has to compute the reaction at support B. So as you can see, we have here A beam so this beam so as you can see there there are three supports so support a b c and support a is a pin so meaning we have two reaction here also we have one reaction at roller b and also one reaction for c so as you can see we have four unknown so meaning okay, using the equation these four unknowns will give us a indeterminate structure okay so here okay, we're going to solve the reaction support b using the three moment equation so the three moment equation method we're going to use a equation okay derive that is derived to compute moments at supports okay by joints or points okay so here I have three support A, B, C. So using the equation here, so we have the equation, the general equation for three moment equations. So we have M1, M1 will be the left moment, okay, this part, okay, and then M2 will be the middle moment here, and then M3 will be the right moment okay and l1 here will be the length of the left segment here and then m2 will be the l2 so l2 will be the length of the right segment okay and then we have here the 6a1 a over l1 will be a formula using the moment diagram for each segment so 6a1 a over l1 will be taken taken at the left part and then 6a2 b over l1 or l2 sorry this is l2 will be taken at the right part okay is equal to 6ei a times h1 over l1 plus h2 over l2 so this uh, additional part additional term okay will be used if there is a settlement or there is a difference or the, there is a deflection between each okay three supports Okay, 
for this particular question, there is no deflection at the three support. So meaning we can now say that this part will be equal to, or we can neglect the part equal to zero. Okay? What if we have different I? The I meaning the moment of inertia for its segment. So the equation will be like this. So you will divide the length by its inertia. Okay? So L1 over I1 if this is I1, and then this over I1, if it's different from segment 2, that's I2. No? It's I2, okay? And then also here, and this one is neglected, so this will be different, okay? So 6E, H1, this is I1, and then the other will be I2. Two, if there is a deflection, if none, that is zero. So let me erase, erase this one. I hope that is clear for us. So if there is a uh, there is a difference in moment of inertia you can divide each length by each moment of inertia okay have that's clear so now let's solve it okay, we have here okay this ma will be the m1 the left moment mb will be the m2 the middle moment and mc will be the m3 the right movement okay l1 will be this one okay this is eight okay l1 will be eight and then l2 will be equal to five okay and that's substitute the value okay so m1 will be the ma okay and then l1 will be eight plus mb middle value middle moment so 8 plus 5 and then plus m3 or that is mc okay times l2 that is 5 plus this term so let's talk about this term okay, this term can be solved if we separate each segment so we separate segment a b to segment b c as you can say this one so segment a b segment b c okay so here as you can see we can we can solve that okay we can solve that using this method so first we have three kilonewton here, so we can now we have to solve each reaction. That is one point twenty five. So we are going to make this a simply supported. No, okay. We we will take it as a simply supported. Okay, it's clear. Here, so next, we we're gonna need the moment diagram. So as you can see, so the moment, the maximum moment is at this point. So that is 1.25. The reaction here, okay. For this problem, I will just solve the reaction here times the moment arm if 
I'm going to take the moment at this point. So that is 1.25 times this length. That, that that length will be equal to five. That will be give us. It will give us 5.625. So this will be right the moment diagram. So next we're going to use the term 6a1 a over l1. So 6a1 6 okay times a1 a1 will be the area of this triangle that is one half times eight times five point six two five okay okay so next will be the a what's the a so if if, if this is the left part so if this is the centroid of the area so a will be from the left side to its centroid that will be the a okay so as you can see the uh a here okay so as you can see here a will be the, the centroid, no? the distance from the centroid to its the outermost or the left part of this segment. Okay, so here the answer will be th 13 over 3. So why it is 13 over 3? So from the geometry, so we can now say the centroid, if this is point a b c point a b c okay, the centroid will be if it is if x a x1 y1 x2 y2 and then x3 y3 so the centroid will be x1 plus y1 x2 plus x3 is equal divided by 3 that is the centroid terms of x so using this uh principle so we can now say here a point here okay that is five no uh, x dito will be five and then um, x dito is eight right and let's back let's go back to the figure okay five and three that's eight no okay and then here we can assume here that this x here is zero Okay, so this will be our reference line. So if that this is the reference line at end, that is 5 plus 8 plus 0 divided by 3, that's 13 over 3. That is the centroid in the horizontal position or the x axis. Okay, so yun yung A. Yun yung kinukuha kasi natin, A. Okay, so that is 13 over 3 over l1 l1 will be 8 okay, it will give us an answer of 73.125 kilonewton times meter squared and then next one the right segment so right segment is made on time 4 kilonewton meter uniformly distributed load so this is uh, let me check the length of this one that's 5 meters Okay, using this one, so we are going to draw the moment diagram. So as you all know, this is uh, uniform distributed, meaning the moment here will be a parabola. Okay. 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 So 12.5 will be its maximum moment. So you can check that. So I will not discuss how we solve that. You can do that, no? So next, the area of a parabola will be right six or three times five times twelve point five two thirds times five times twelve point five. Okay, what it b? Okay, so a two. So this this must be b. Sorry. Okay, right, so that formula will must be B, okay, so B meaning 
it will measured from centroid to the right part that is b a to b will be equal to the half of the length that is equal to 2.5 and the length of the segment will be equal to 5 yes and it will give us a 125 kilonewton times meter square okay and that value will, that value will be substituted at the equation so 73.125 Okay, then plus, let me check the other value, that's 125. Okay. Next, after that, so we are going to evaluate solve this equation okay, by simply looking back at the beam so we can say that if this is a roll of support a pin I should say and this is a roller support at point C you can say that the moment at this point will be equal to zero Dahil wala namang nagre-restrain sa moment at this support. So, MA will be equal to zero. Okay? Correct? Yes. Is MC zero. So, the MB will be equal to MB times 13. Okay, we forgot zero here. So, plus let's add the 73.125 plus 125. You can say that is equal to. Let me check again. Our answer is equal to 198.125. Okay. I hope you got that. Same answer as me. Right. It's equal to zero. So MB here is equal to, let's divide the 198.125 divided by 13, and, such, and let's transpose that to the other portion. Right? Okay, the answer will be, so we forgot here. Let me check the equation first. So the equation, was, we have two here. So sorry for the wrong equation. At the first, okay, that is two. So must this must be have, this must have two. Okay, All right. So we have 2 here, so this must be times 2, so let me clear that one, okay, let me clear the equation first, MLL1, Okay, so that will be our equation. This will be equal to MB, so this is 198.125. So 198.125 divided by 26, so that is equal to 7.62. Okay, negative 7. 
This is kilonewton meter. Okay, after we solve MB here, right? Okay, we are going to solve for support B. So how we will how we'll be able to do that? So here we have the here MB. So we can say this is zero. We can delete this one. Not that one, this one. Okay. Okay, so MB here is negative. So meaning, our assumption here will be wrong. So meaning here, this one, our MB here, Let me correct this one. So, this is the MB. So, kurayin na lang natin to. Let's draw using the pen. So, MB here. So, the positive MB will be counterclockwise here and the clockwise here. Right? But because this is negative, you can say, this is clockwise. This is counterclockwise. Okay? This will be the answer 7 point. The answer right there. Forgot the 7.62. Also, this is 7.62. So, I did not put the negative because I corrected the direction okay so you seen that we can now solve for this this is by1 and this is by2 and this is ay and this is cy okay okay this is zero okay the horizontal reaction here Okay, because there is no horizontal forces. Okay, so here, we can take a moment here to solve BY1. Okay, moment at A is equal to 0, positive, clockwise. So, 7.62 plus 3 times 5, this is 5. Okay, minus by1 times 8 is equal to 0. So, by1 now will be equal to 7.62 times 5 times 3. Divided by 8. This is 14. Seven point sixty two times 3 times 5. Divided by 8. That's equal to 2.827. So 2.827. Okay. Positive, meaning upward. Kilonewton. Okay, so next, summation moment at C is equal to zero positive clockwise. So here is point C. So meaning, so negative 7.62, then also negative 4 times 5 times 2.5. Okay, positive by2 times 5 is equal to 0. 
So, 7.62. Okay, negative 7.62 minus 4 times 5 times 2.5. And divided by 5 to give a positive 11 point. Five to four kilonewton. And then B now, BY now will be the summation the sum of BY one plus BY. 2. That's equal to 11.524. So let me correct that one. So on my BY1, that's 2.827 plus 11.524. It will give us 2.827 plus 11.524. will give us 14. Point 351 kilo. This is upward. This is our answer. Okay? So using three moment equation, this is our answer. For the summary, this is the equation. I forgot to put two. Okay? That's my, uh, my apologies at the beginning of the video. Please correct this one. This is 2M2. Okay? I hope you understand something, you learn something at this video. So, thank you very much and keep safe always.